So today's video is actually inspired by a previous post. I put up a picture of a small log that had a bunch of what I thought were butterflies, but it turns out they were mushrooms. And everybody, this is what I love about uh, my eco family online, everybody was able to identify them as turkey tail mushrooms to me. And I had never heard of turkey tail mushrooms. Well, it turns out that turkey tail mushrooms are really good for fighting tumors and cancer. So after doing a bunch of research, I found out that you can actually take these mushrooms and take them directly from tree to tea, make a tea out of them that's supposed to help me battle my tumors. Now, a lot of you may know, um, you know, I've been fighting cancer for about 15 years now, and the doctors have had a really hard time figuring out how to heal it. They are not even 100% sure what kind of cancer it is. So when the doctors told me that the most recent MRI had shown no change with the medicine that I was on, it was called Odomzo, that they were sort of out of ideas. They had no idea how to move forward or how to help me. So I decided to just try everything organic as possible. So this is my first time trying to harvest and make tea from these turkey tail mushrooms. A lot of our modern medicines come from the woods. They come from nature. Actually, almost everything we've learned has come from nature. And yet we have excluded nature from being part of it. What happens is companies come in, they find the nature that works, then they isolate the molecules that work, and then they patent it. I know, it's crazy, right? Uh, that leads to actually a lot of problems where they're stealing from a lot of the indigenous tribes. It's called biopiracy. So what we're looking for are the turkey tails. I think we're in prime turkey tail country. All right, great news. I think we found some right here. So let's take a look. I can't believe we found all these turkey tails here. So the way you can tell they're turkey tails is on the bottom of them. If they are <clears throat> porous and look, kind of look like a sponge, that is a real turkey tail. Now, if they are, they look like they have gills on the bottom, it's not a real turkey tail. Turkey tails, luckily, if you make a mistake and you do not pick real turkey tails, it doesn't matter. There are no poisonous versions of this mushroom uh, that look like it. So what we're gonna do is just take a look here. And underneath you can see it's porous. So this. Now, turkey tail is amazing because it grows on dead or rotting trees. I've got the Kind Humans box that they just sent me some goodies. And what we're gonna do is actually just pick these and remove them from their tree. They're supposed to be easy to take off, see? Just pop right off like that. Now again, you can see in there is the porous bottom of the turkey tail. And that's how you can tell it's truly turkey tail. I've never picked mushrooms and made tea from it before. This is a first for me. So we're just gonna keep, and you just go to the bottom and you just pull on them gently and they pop right off. And again, you can see down there, true turkey tail. So we're going to forage as many of these as we can from this one tree stump and go home, clean them off. I'll show you guys how to clean them off and make tea and we'll see what it's like. Now, they're getting a little harder here to pull from their root, so I'm gonna use my knife to grab a few of these. And there we go. Now, you don't need a knife this big, usually. You should be able to do this with a much smaller knife, but all I have. <laughs> it's a great knife. Everybody needs a great knife. This knife has been with me and everywhere I've traveled. For those of you that don't want to eat mushrooms because you think they all come from poop, they don't. Now, there's no animals live on these. So we're not interfering nature. With nature, we're not uh, destroying any animals' food or habitat by doing this. Okay, let's see here. We're not gonna take too many more today. But look at that, look at the size of this thing. Gosh, this is incredible, okay. 
Oh my goodness. All right, I think we have more than enough turkey tails in there. I'm just amazed. Uh, this is really cool. Uh, I've always known that nature can be a pharmacy. And it really gets me thinking about how sad it is to see the Amazon burning and the Amazon exploited. Uh, it's just, I can't believe it. I mean, they've only found 3% of the plants in the Amazon. And out of that have come 60% of our modern medicines. Ooh, my gosh, look at these. I just found a whole other tree stump filled with turkey tails. Look at how gorgeous these are. All right, well now we're gonna go home and clean them and make some tea. So here we have it, turkey tail tea. This is amazing. This is from the tree to the tea, 100% natural using the natural pharmacy around me. Now, full disclosure, I don't usually eat mushrooms. I don't really like mushrooms. Um, I've just never been a fan of them. I never get them in my food. So the idea to go out and get a mushroom <laughs> from the tree stump, bring it back to the house, clean it up, prepare it and make it into a tea is a brand new concept for me. Uh, yeah, I found a lot of interesting videos out there on Google, but I didn't really find too many people giving uh, really good directions on how to do it. So I think it's kind of a experiment, play around with it and give it a try. So here we go. This is the first sip of mushroom turkey tail tea. Actually, There's something very soothing about the taste of this. This is actually fantastic. <laughs> Some people said it was a little sour or a little off, but um, I, I really don't think so. I, now again, my taste buds uh, have been zapped along with my eyebrows, so I'm not the best taste tester really, but for me, for the first time ever having mushrooms, I would say this is actually pretty tasty. Yeah. Amazing, Am absolutely amazing. So thank you everybody that told me about Turkey Tales. Thank you everybody for commenting on the first post that started this whole journey. And uh, I'm pretty excited. I think from now on, I'm gonna start foraging more mushrooms, learning more about how the world around me can be my natural pharmacy to help me fight my cancer. Anyway, I hope uh, you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, next time we're gonna go out, we're gonna eat some bark and we're gonna just keep working with nature around us.